I just want to encourage somebody today who feels as if they have no place in church. I want to encourage somebody who feels like they're never going to be able to step into what God has for them. They feel blocked or they feel like there's no place for them in their church. And I've heard a lot of Christians say that. A lot of Christians um, have this frustration. Like, say you're called to evangelism and you go to a church and the leadership in that church is more focused on discipling. Because of your perspective, because of the calling on your life, you're going to see flaws. You're going to say, well, they're not reaching the streets enough. And it might not be that they're supposed to reach the streets. It might be that you're the one called to rise up and reach the streets. And you know, you might not get a leadership position in the church and it doesn't matter because as, if God has called you to evangelize, if God has called you to disciple people, if God has called you to minister to others, it doesn't matter if you have a position in your local church or not. You can rise up and do what God's called you to do. And sometimes we need to check our own hearts because it's like we want to get in where we fit and we want to find our place and we think it's going to be found in a church, you know, leadership position. And, you know, some of us, we're never going to attain that. It's not what God has for us. And that's okay. You're still a leader in the spirit. The anointing, the calling on your life, the influence of Christ in you has nothing to do with the title. And I know that you've heard that before, but really think about it. Think about everything that Christ died for every spiritual gift he's given you and you might be sitting in church just feeling frustrated feeling like well where do I start well you know just because you're a singer it doesn't mean you're going to be singing solos on Sunday or have a CD come out you know maybe God wants you to go to that old folks home down the street and sing to those dying people and the anointing of God in that song will bring them hope it will usher their, them into salvation in the last days of their life you know what I mean there's so much more to being part of the body of Christ than just church. Church is where we meet. Church is where we see how each other's doing. We worship together, share a little bit. But the foundation of what you're doing, the foundation of who you are in Christ and what you're called to do, it might not always be through, you know, leadership positions in the church and that's okay. And sometimes when we failed or when we feel like there's no place for us and we never seem to get into that place in our local church, a lot of people leave, they get frustrated, and they feel like they, they have no way to get in and do what God's called them to do, but that's not true. It's a lie from the enemy at your workplace. You can be the best evangelist anyone's ever seen in that place. You can preach and teach and disciple those little kids that, that come to visit your children, you know, after school. Whatever's in front of you, do your best, because if God had more for you, He will bring it. You don't have to try to change seasons. You don't have to try to get a position that you might not even be ready for yet. You know, just for me, I'm going to do the best I can with whatever's in front of me and use the gifts God's given me to touch souls, to love, to bring healing. And if he wants leadership for me in, in a church, that's fine. If the leadership he has for me is outside of church, that's fine. All I know is that he's called me to love others. He's called me to do a work for him. And I don't care where I do it. You know, there was a time where when I first came to God and I first saw the gifts he, he gave me and people would, you know, pray over me and be like, oh, sis, your calling's big. And I'd get all excited and think of this huge ministry. You know, I thought I was going to have all these CDs out. And I just thought, wow, I'm called to ministry. And I had this whole focus of what it should look like. And the Lord, every time I'd go forward and try to do that, the Lord would pull me back and be like, that's not what I have for you. And I didn't understand it. And people would even speak into my life and be like, sis, why are you wasting this? Why aren't you going forth? Why aren't you making this and doing that and making this happen? And I, I couldn't say anything other than the Lord saying no. And there was doors that were open to me for ministry and things like that. But the Lord would never let me go through them. And now I realize I wasn't ready. You know, there's so much. There's so much more. I need to learn and there's so much more I have to be healed from before I can have more responsibility within, you know, within the body of Christ. And so with that said, I just want to encourage somebody today who feels like they can't do anything for God because it's not in a certain way. It's not behind a pulpit. It's not, you know, in a ministry. They didn't get their place in ministry that they thought they were going to get and it's, they're frustrated and they're ready to give up. None of that stuff matters. Do what call, God's called you to do with what you have in front of you. Because when he can trust you with that little bit and you're faithful in that and, and your character begins to develop, he'll trust you with more. So no man, no ministry, 
No organization can ever hinder you from what God wants you to do. We only hinder ourselves when we try to put God in a box. We hinder ourselves when we try to tell God how our ministry is going to go when it's his ministry. So with that said, let's just submit to Christ and let him lead us wherever he sees fit.